Hello and welcome to the video on Lightning List Actions. Lightning List Actions is a brand new product that allows you to perform a series of actions behind a button against multiple selected items inside a SharePoint list or even a Microsoft list. If you've used Lightning Forms before, you'll know that you can go through and add a button with inside your form, such as the new form, the display form or the edit form. But Lightning List Actions is the perfect complement to that that will actually allow you to go through and trigger actions against items that are selected with inside a view. So inside this example here, we're going to go through and just show you a form that we've customized using Lightning Forms. And this is an expense report form and you can go through and content such as the name of the person who's making the expense claim. So we're just going to go through and simply add Nicola in here. And you can see that, of course, we've gone through and easily added some styles to this form. Uh, we've also got a sub list embedded on this form as well and uh, other information uh, that is also available through the different tabs. Uh, so in here we can set things like who our line manager is and information like that. Uh, so at the bottom here, I'm just going to make an expense claim. So this is going to be for some paper and uh, we'll go through and select other and we'll say that, that paper costs 20 and uh, we've saved that. And there's the expense claim amount, which, as you can see, is being aggregated up under the total expense claim and is clearly below the expense claim limit of 2000. And just in case Nicola accidentally uh, went over that expense claim limit, Notice that we've got the uh, the validation coming through as well uh, for that form uh, using Lightning Forms. So that's the expense claim made. And uh, we'd now go through and submit that for a line manager to simply approve it. But what if there's so many that need approving? Well, as you can see, we've got the ability now to use this Lightning List Actions. So we can click onto that as a SharePoint list owner or as a designer and we can go through and add a new button. So what we're going to do is add a button that says approve expenses. And we can go through and select an icon uh, that would be uh, relevant to uh, to this scenario. So we'll just simply choose the check mark icon and we can choose whether we want to execute this against everything inside the list or whether it's uh, just selected uh, items. Uh, either a single item or, or multiple items. And we can also control when this button is likely to display. So, of course, we don't want users to approve their own expenses. So one of the things that we might decide to do, for example, is come into the properties here and we can either choose a field from the form, such as if you are the line manager, uh, then that would, could be your condition. Or we can also set conditions such as are you a member of a particular SharePoint group? in which case we may have a SharePoint group that is called, for example, Expense Approvers. So that button would only show up in that case. Now I'm just gonna, for this purpose, have the button always show, and we're gonna go through and configure some actions in here. And those actions are, first of all, going to update a list item. So we'll choose the update list item. The list is in the current site, and it is called the Expense Report. The list item ID is going to be selected here by easily going through and double clicking onto the ID column with inside the expression builder that we have. Uh, so that has set the ID. And now I can choose the field that is on that form that I want to update. And the field that I want to update is this one here called approved, which we're now going to set to one. And uh, it's as simple as that. So that's our update list item. But now I can also add another action. And that action is actually going to be a send email action. So we can send that from the current user that, that performed the uh, the triggering of these actions. So we'll go through and select the current user's email address here. And in the to field, we can go through and simply set who it's going to be emailed to. And that's going to be the email address that was submitted when the user created their expense claim. So in here, we can just simply say expenses are approved. And we could also write a body in here as well. And that's our actions configured. Okay, so we're simply gonna click save and choose okay. And you'll notice here we've got the approve expenses button. And of course we could go through and add other buttons as well. Uh, these buttons can also be promoted to sublinks, so you can get drop down menus such as on this uh, Power Apps drop down here. Uh, but I'm just gonna simply click save at that moment and uh, We'll refresh our page. So I'm just going to do a, a Control Shift R. And you'll notice in here that uh, from a user's perspective, as they go through now and select the different items, 
that that expense approval button is displaying on the command bar. And as you can see, all of these expenses are currently not approved. So now I can bulk approve them. We can uh, simply click onto the approve expenses. And as you can see, these are all now marked as approved and the email has been sent. Okay, so there's a whole series of things that you may want to do with the actions. Uh, that's just one example. Uh, but if you would like to see if this is a good fit for you, then please reach out to us on sales at lightningtools.com um, or you can book a demo using the Lightning List Actions web part page. Okay, many thanks.